Okay, I am still at my messy mushroom table, and I want to go into a little bit of detail about this, um, the red belted conch. And I did a video yesterday, and I don't know what I did with it. Uh, you can tell that it's, this is also a polypore, and like the artist conchs, which I just gone into detail in another video, they'll keep growing year after year, and they'll be they'll continue to get larger and larger. But you can see the pores which indicates that it's a, <clears throat> excuse me, a polypore, and it grows on coniferous trees, which means the softwoods, the trees that have needles on them. And it is also known as a tinderwood fungus and um, a fire starter. But these mushrooms um, have a lot of value to a lot of people, and but a lot of people don't know about them either. But if you do know about them, you're really, really in love with this mushroom. Um, the, the Native Americans throughout the United States, throughout the eastern United States, or eastern half of the United States, um, used it for a, a number of, and in a number of ways. Um, they used it like, like they used to use this as a, as a bleeding stopper. It slows bleeding or stops bleeding. Um, some smoked it. Um, in order to um, help get rid of a headache and sometimes they used it in flavorings for soups and uh, nutrition value nutritional value and herbs um, and soups I'm sorry and um, preservatives okay the Native Americans some of them use it for uh, uh, like this right here like the birch polypore I talked to you about yesterday this right here where you can uh, use it for a uh, to stop bleeding or to slow down bleeding. Um, some of the Native Americans used to smoke it um, and to get rid of headaches. And some used it for flavorings and soups and, and preservatives and its nutritional value as well, which I don't know what the nutritional value of this. I have not looked into that simply because I'm not real interested in it. But I did take a few notes and I'm going to read down down through my notes here and I'm not going to show you my notes simply because <laughs> I don't think you can read my writing but I'm just going to run down through the list while you're looking at this right here and uh, so you know what the what the benefits of of this uh, red belted poly pork conch is um, they use it for increased immunity anti-tumor antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, anti-histamines. It increases circulation, it regulates blood sugar levels, um, reduces menstrual cramping and menstrual pain, it reduces headaches, and is a traditional treatment of fevers, headaches, and chills. And it is not edible, unfortunately. Um, you go to take a bite of this. It's quite hard because it's a conch. Conchs, remember, are hard. Um, but uh, you can make it into a tea. And and you can crush it up and grind it up and use it some somehow, like in the soups or whatever. I'm not sure how the, the Native Americans used it. But um, I had to look up more detail on this because I knew very, very little about this until a few days ago. Um, so I'm learning right along with you here.